Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this Postman tutorial, I will be discussing about how to upload file in Postman tool. There are two ways available in Postman for uploading the file in Postman tool. The first option is by using the form data, we can upload the file in Postman. And the second option is by using the binary approach, we can upload the file in Postman tool. So before we go ahead and discuss on creating the API request. So let's understand a bit about the API details, which we are going to use it in a couple of minutes. So we are using the HTTP method as post and we are adding the headers as content type and followed by that we are adding the application slash JSON as the value. And then we are using this endpoint that is HTTP colon to forward slash followed by postman hyphen echo.com slash post. So by using these details, we will be creating the one API request where we are uploading the Excel file, JSON, JSON file as well. So let's create the API request now. So insert the positive endpoints. I'm clicking on this three dots and here I'm selecting the option as add request and I'm giving the name of the request as file upload and we need to provide the HTTP method as post and here we have to enter the URL. So here I'm entering HTTP colon to forward slash followed by postman hyphen echo dot com slash post. So that's it. So after selecting the HTTP method and after adding the endpoint, we need to add the headers as content type and we need to specify the value as application slash JSON. So let's add the headers. Here I will click on headers and here I will choose the content type as and here I will add the application slash JSON as the value. Then I will save the API. So now we have added all the all these API details. Now we are going to discuss how to upload file in Postman. So let's go to the Postman tool now. So as I said, we have two options. The first one is form data and second one is binary. So let's discuss the first way that is the form data by using the form data, how we can upload the file. So simply you can click on the this body and you can select the option as form hyphen data. So here you need to click on this arrow and then you need to select the file as the option and after selecting the file so here you will get the select files button so simply you can click on this select files and you can select any file so in my case i'm using the one excel file and second one is json file so first i will try to upload the json file and later i will upload the csv file as well that is the excel file so firstly, I will select this JSON file and after that, I will save the API and then I will click on this send. And if you look at here, so our file is uploaded successfully into the application server and we got the 200 as the API response status code and also we got the API response body also. So this is how you can upload the file in Postman. So let's try to upload the Excel file also. So simply I will click on this into mark X mark. And now this time I will select the our Excel file. So simply I will select the Excel file and I will upload it. So again, I will click on this send. So if you look at here, so we got the 200 as the API response status code and also we got the API response body. So that means we are able to upload the file into the application server successfully. So this is a one way and let's create the another API where we are by using the binary approach, we will be uploading the file. So similarly, I will click on this three dots and I will say the add request. So here we are adding the another API request where we are discussing by using the binary approach, we are going to upload the file into the application server. So here I'm saying the request name as file upload. 
using binary so that's it then after that i will select the http method as post and simply i will enter the url that is http colon to forward slash followed by postman hyphen echo dot com slash post and after that we need to add the headers so let's add the headers as content type as application slash json as the value so let's save this api and now i will go to the body so here previously we have selected the form hyphen data so this time i will select the binary as the option so after selecting the binary directly we will get the button that is a select file as a button and after clicking on this particular button you will get the window pop-up where you need to select the file which you want to upload into the application server so i will click on this select file so firstly i will upload the json file and i will click on this send so if you look at here we got the 200 as the api response status code that means we are able to upload the file successfully into the application server by using the postman tool and also here we got the api response body so let's delete this file so we have uploaded the json file let's try to upload the excel file as well so simply i will click on this select file and here i'll select the test data csv file so it is an excel file only so you can select even image also you can try to upload the image also we should be able to upload the file into the application server by using the postman tool so here i have selected the our excel file and now simply i will save the api and i will click on this send button and if you look at here we got the 200 so that means we are able to upload the file into the application server using the postman tool here also we got the api response body so this is how you can upload the file into the application server by using the postman tool Welcome to API testing full course. You can access all the exercises which we have done in the whole API testing course. I have already provided this uh, link in the video description. So anyone can access this link and also you can get the whole collections and also the envir environment variable details. So you can take that URL which is there in the description of this below video and paste it in the web browser.
and after that so once it is opened so you need to export this uh, collections into the your local system so it will open like this after ex accessing the link so this is a public access url which which i have shared it you can <clears throat> click on this booking api you can see all the apis are there inside the two folders so what you can do is you can click on this three dots and you can export it so you can click on this export and firstly you can export this booking api collection and after that on the right side you can select the booking api environment and after that click on this icon and click on the edit then you can click on three dots and you can click on this export so this will export the environment variable details so after exporting it so you will get the these two files and once once you have these, these two files you can go to the postman and you can click on this import and make sure you are there in this uh, file tab and you can click on choose files and you can select the first leak collection that's the postman collection and you can open it and after that you can click on import so firstly you can load the postman collection and after that you can load the environment details so as i have already these apis in my system i don't want to import it and this is how you can get the exercise which we have done in the api testing full course you can find all the code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course you can search with the backup and github in the google.com and here you can go to the my github repository and over here in the repositories tab you will find the rest assured api testing framework you can go inside the this repository and you can click on this code and you can copy this uri and by using this uri and you can simply use the git in your local machine and you can simply clone it by using the git clone and followed by that specify the url so you will get the whole code which i have discussed in the rest assured api testing full course